Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to crochet a total neck top. Alright? And um, I have some more picture on my Facebook and Instagram. You can check it out and enjoy! For this project, I'm using two color of Yon B. I bought this from Hobby Lobby. The color for this one is ivory. I use this to be my main color, which is color A. The yarn size, 4 medium. And I bought two balls of main color. And this is my second color, which is color B. And the color is mauve. And I just bought one ball of this color. But I don't use the whole ball. And 4 millimeter crochet hook. You need scissors and yarn needle. You also need markers. For this top, you're gonna make two pieces, the front piece and the back piece, exactly the same. And then we're gonna sew it together and we add the collar later after we sew the top together. And when you make the chains, make sure you leave a long tail to sew the side of the top. Uh, I leave the tail about 20 or 25 inches just in case. Just keep yourself extra. For this pattern it's really easy to make. You just know how to make the chain and double crochet and then double crochet two stitches together. And I will go slowly. Okay so I have two rows of color A, one row of color B and then one row of color A and five rows of color B and one row of color A and one row of color B and after that I make five rows of color A okay so if you want your top to be longer you add more than five rows for this part okay after I have five rows of color A we are gonna start decrease so the marker here that is the first row that I decrease and in each row we will decrease two stitches which is the first when you start new row we will make double crochet two stitches together and then when you come to the end we will decrease by making double crochet two stitches together okay and we do that back and forth so for me I make 19 rows of decrease after I make 19 rows of decrease and when I cut the yarn, I leave the tail uh, just enough to sew a few stitches on the shoulder. Okay, so you're gonna make the front piece and the back piece exactly the same. You have to leave the tail when you start making the chain and then you leave the tail when you're done making the top. I'm gonna start with my A color first. Remember I said earlier that we have to leave a long tail to sew the top together. I leave about 20-25 inches. I just like to give myself extra. Alright, after I have the long tail, I'm gonna make slip knot. And we're gonna make the chain. We're gonna use the yarn that attached to the ball of yarn. Alright, and this the tail that we leave, I'm gonna Leave on the back like that. I can chain 73 with the side medium. If you want your top to be bigger, you add more chains. And if you want your top to be smaller, you just make less chains. Alright. Okay, so I will meet you guys when I have 73 chains. Now I have 73 chains and we're gonna make a double crochet but I'm not gonna make into the chain stitch right normal chain stitch but I gonna make into the little bump on the back of the chains I hope you guys can see but if you prefer to make a double crochet into the normal chain stitch. You can do that too, totally up to you. See, this is give me a really nice edge. 
right here because I make into the uh, bump of the shins. Okay, so let's get started. And this is gonna be row one. Uh, the row one is gonna be the right side of the top. So I gonna skip four chain stitches. So one, two, three, and four. And double crochet into the fifth chain. But in the little bump on the back. All right, yarn over, insert the hook into that little bump. And pull up a loop. Just do like normal crochet. So the chain that we skip is count as one double crochet. So now I have two double crochet. And we're just gonna make double crochet into each bump. I hope you guys can see. See right here? I'm just gonna keep uh, make double crochet into each bump so I will show you what it looks like see the little bump here this one okay so this is the chain stitch it's really beautiful <laughs> okay so I will meet you guys when you come to the end of the row now I'm in the end of row 1 and I have 70 double crochet stitches includes the chain that we skipped earlier too, alright? And then for row 2, I'm going to chain 3 and then turn. Or you can turn first and chain, doesn't matter. So for 3 chain, always count as 1 double crochet. So I'm going to make double crochet into next stitch right here, alright? not the first stitch here the first stitch is gonna be the stitch from the chain uh, the three chain so double crochet into next stitch and double crochet into each stitch across okay I will meet you guys when you come to the end of row 2 now I'm in the end of row 2, but I have to make the last double crochet here. But I just want to show you guys because it's pretty difficult to see the last stitch. Right here, so you can turn as well. The chain that we skip right here, the fourth chain that we skip, we're going to make the last double crochet in there. And I have the same 70 double crochet stitches. And I recommend you guys to count your stitches every single row. Just to make sure that you don't miss any stitch. Or you don't uh, make too many stitches by accident. Okay. And next we're going to chain color. And I will show you how to do that. And I'm going to cut this yarn and leave a little bit of tail and I'm gonna pull out this loop like so and then bring uh, my color B and I'm gonna insert my hook into the very first stitch here and bring the new yarn and pull it out and tie a knot And I will weave the end later and insert the hook into the same stitch and pull up a loop and chain three. This is how we chain color, okay? Every time you chain color, you're gonna do the same. And then I turn first three chains all the way count as double crochet and then double crochet into next stitch. 
and we're just gonna make double crochet into each stitch we're just gonna repeat the same pattern and uh, I will meet you guys when you come to the end of the row I'm in the end of row 3 I have to make the last double crochet into the third chain here and I have the same 70 double crochet stitches and then for row 4 we're gonna chain color we're gonna do exactly the same I'm gonna cut the yarn and put a yarn out like so and bring my color A insert the hook into the very first stitch here put a new yarn out and tie a knot and insert the hook into the same stitch pull up a loop and chain 3 I'm gonna weave the end later so for 3 chains all way count as double crochet and then I turn and double crochet into next stitch we're just gonna repeat the same pattern just make double crochet into each stitch Alright, I will meet you guys when you come to the end of row 4. Now I'm in the end of row 4 and I already make the last double crochet into the third chain. And then I cut the yarn because we're gonna chain color. We do exactly the same when we chain color. Gonna bring my color B. See, we do exactly the same. So we're gonna chain three, repeat the same pattern, and then turn and double crochet into next stitch, and double crochet into each stitch. Okay, so you just keep making double crochet into each stitch you're gonna make this color five row and when you come to the end you're gonna chain three and then turn till you have total of five rows of color B and then one row of color A and then one row of color B and then five row of color A okay so I will show this so see this is two row of color A and then one row of color B right here same as here and then one row of color A and now we're gonna make five rows of color B and one row of color A one row of color B and after that I make five rows of color A Remember, I told you if you want your top longer, you add more than 5 rows of that part. Okay, so after I have 5 rows of color A, we're gonna start decrease. Now I have 5 rows of color A here. And then this is the end of the row. And I'm gonna turn my work. And we're gonna start decrease. We're gonna start decrease. So this is the right side. Okay, I'm gonna chain three. For three chains, all the way count as one double crochet. And we're gonna make double crochet next two stitches together. So this one and this one. All right. Not the very first one. Okay, the first stitch is stitch from three chain. So yarn over, insert the hook into next stitch and pull up a loop, pull out two loops and then yarn over, insert the hook 
into next stitch right here and pull up a loop and pull out two loops now you have three loops on your hook you're gonna pull it all out so uh, double crochet two stitches together is count as one double crochet and then now you have two double crochet and then double crochet into each stitch so keep making that till you have two stitches left on the end of the row and I will um, show you how to decrease again and I want you guys to place the marker into the first row of decrease and this is the right side okay alright so I will meet you guys when you have two stitches left now I have two stitches left so this one and then the third chain we count the third chain too because we always make the last double crochet into the third chain okay so yarn over insert the hook into next stitch pull up a loop and pull out two loops and yarn over insert the hook into the third chain Oops. pull up a loop pull out two loops and you have three loops on your hook you're gonna pull it all out and this is count as one double crochet okay the double crochet two together and the end of this row the row one of decrease I have 68 double crochet stitches in each row you will decrease two stitches and then row two of decrease you're gonna chain three and for three chains all way count as one double crochet and we're gonna start always start the same and then end the same when you uh, decrease we're gonna start the same here and we're gonna make double crochet next two stitches together so yarn over insert the hook into next stitch here all right not this one okay this one pull up a loop pull out two loops and then yarn over insert the hook into next stitch pull up a loop pull out two loops you have three loops on your hook you're gonna pull it all out and double crochet two stitches together count as one double crochet and now we have two double crochet see we always do the same uh, start the same and we're gonna make double crochet into each stitch and keep making that till you have two stitches left on the end and I will meet you guys there now I have two stitches left so this stitch and then the third chain okay and then yarn over insert the hook into next stitch pull up a loop and then pull out two loops and yarn over insert the hook into the third chain pull up a loop pull out two loops now you have three loops on your hook you're gonna pull it all out and this is count as one double crochet okay and the end of this row I have 66 double crochet stitches remember every single row you will decrease two stitches and you always gonna uh, start the same which is chain three and then turn and we're gonna make double crochet next two stitches together this one and this one so yarn over insert the hook into the next stitch pull up a loop pull out two loops yarn over insert the hook into next stitch pull up a loop pull out two loops and you have three loops on your hook you're gonna pull it all out double crochet two together is count as one double crochet includes the first three chain you have two double crochet now and we're gonna repeat the same pattern 
just make a double crochet into each stitch till you have two stitches left I will meet you guys when you have two stitches left now I have two stitches left so this stitch and then the 13 and we're gonna decrease uh, do the same double crochet two stitches together when you have three loops on your hook you're gonna pull it all out see we end the same and I come to the end of this row I have 64 double crochet stitches I recommend you guys always count your stitches okay so you're gonna repeat this pattern uh, decrease when you start and then decrease when you come to the end of the row just keep repeating this till you have total of 19 rows I mean I make 19 rows you all might be different, maybe you make uh, different sizes. But for me, I make 19 rows of decrease. Okay, so I will meet you guys when you have, when I have 19 rows of decrease. After I have 19 rows of decrease, that's what it look like. And after I make a double crochet, two stitches together here which is the end of the row that's what it look like and I'm just gonna chain one to lock the yarn and I cut the yarn I leave the tail about uh, I'm not sure maybe 8 inches <laughs> I'm just gonna sew uh, a few stitches so I'm not leave that much tail but if uh, you're gonna sew more than a few you might need a longer tail okay so you're gonna make two pieces like this so the front piece and the back piece so now this right side facing me right now and I'm gonna show you guys how to sew the top together so now I have two pieces already and I'm just gonna go ahead and show you so doesn't matter front piece or back piece because it's the same so I put the right side facing each other the wrong side is facing me right now we're gonna sew the top from the inside okay so let's get start and sewing I'm already insert my yarn my tail into my yarn needle and we're gonna start sewing make sure it's the right side facing each other we're gonna sew into the wrong side so I'm gonna insert my yarn needle into the third chain here right here okay it's just gonna sew normal you can use different method of sewing and then I'm gonna come to my next stitch right here and then go to the next stitch from the back piece now I have two stitches sew and then I'm gonna sew one more stitch see just does it I just gonna sew three stitches and then I just gonna tie a knot make sure my uh, tail is secure my top is secure and then it's just gonna weave the end hide the tail Make sure it's secure and then you just uh, cut the tail. You're gonna do exactly the same with 
the other side okay and I will meet you guys when you have both sides sew after you're done sewing the shoulder that's what it look like on the wrong side and next we're gonna sew the side of the top it's still on the wrong side okay we're gonna sew into the wrong side and first you need to measure your armhole how big you want your armhole to be for me I leave my armhole about 10 inches so I gonna place the marker right there and then I gonna start so from the bottom up till I reach the uh, marker and I gonna use the tail that I leave earlier for sewing the top so I already weave all the ends here so see this side I haven't weaved the end yet so you just go ahead and weave the end make sure when you weave the end like if you weave the cream color you're gonna weave the end into the same color line to make it beautiful after you weave all the ends just let it start sewing I already insert my yarn my tail to the yarn needle and just gonna start sewing just sew normal make sure um, both piece is matching You can use different method of sewing, okay? It's just gonna sew normal. Or if you prefer using slip stitch sewing, you can do that too. Whatever you prefer. Okay, so when you come to the color B, you're just gonna do the same, okay? So keep sewing that till you reach the marker and I will meet you guys there. Now I reach the marker stitch and I just gonna uh, tie a knot, sorry. <laughs> and then weave the end. Make sure it's secure and then you just trim the tail and you're gonna do exactly the same with the other side. See this is what this armhole look like. Make sure when you sew the other side you have the same number that you leave for the armhole. Okay? Alright, so I will meet you guys when you have both sides sewing. Now I have both sides sew. That's what it look like. And next we're gonna make the collar. And this is still long uh wrong side, okay? We're gonna make double crochet on the wrong side because we're gonna fold that collar in half, okay? Now I'm gonna bring my color A. I'm gonna use that for my color. You can use different color and you also can use the color B. I think it's gonna turn out very good too so bring the new yarn I gonna insert my hook right here right on this stitch so this is the wrong side okay <laughs> gonna make sure so bring the new yarn out and I gonna tie a knot and then insert the hook into the same stitch pull up a loop and chain three and for three chains I'll make out as one double crochet 
and then double crochet into the next stitch. So yarn over, insert the hook into the next. And we're just gonna make double crochet into each stitch. Okay, keep making that till you come to this corner here and I will meet you guys there. When you come to this corner, I'm gonna make uh, one more double crochet into this stitch right here. And then I'm gonna turn to work uh, to the other side right here. We just make our uh, uh, work in round. So next stitch is right here, just double crochet. Double crochet into next stitch. Just keep making double crochet into each stitch. Okay, till you reach the first three chain and I will meet you guys there. Now I'm in the end of the row but I have to make the last double crochet here. Just want to show you guys. Okay, that's what it looks like. And next, I'm gonna make a slip stitch into the third chain here. Okay, insert the hook into the third chain, pull up a loop, and pull it through. Now we have uh, one row of the collar. So I have 56 double crochet stitches. You might be different, it's okay. And then I'm gonna start row two, with chain three. And for three chains, all we call as one double crochet. And I'm just gonna make double crochet into next stitch right here. And double crochet into each stitch. So keep making that till you come to the end of the row and I will meet you guys one more time. Now I'm in the end of row 2. This what it looks like and then I'm gonna make a slip stitch into the third chain that we did. And I have the same 56 double crochet stitches. So you're just gonna keep making this and I made total of 11 rows. So now I have two rows and you can start the same by chaining three and then double crochet into each stitch across and then make slip stitch into the third chain. Keep making that and I will meet you guys when I have 11 rows. So now I have 11 rows on my collar. So I just gonna try to fold it in half. Make sure that, you know, I like the side. If you want uh, tall, you add more rows. Okay, so for me, I think I'm good with this. I like it. So after you make the last stitch, here after you slip stitch, we're just gonna cut the yarn and weave the end. I'm just gonna cut my yarn and then pull the yarn out. And we're gonna weave the end. So I bring my yarn needle, insert the tail in there, and I'm just gonna weave the end inside this side, okay? Just hide the tail and make sure that uh, it's secure, and then you just trim the tail. And we done. So this the yarn that I have left for two skin of yarn. So, but for the uh, color B, I have a lot more than half bow. <laughs> okay, so 
Now it's wrong side and I'm gonna turn inside out. Okay? So after I turn inside out, that's what it looks like and I'm just gonna remove marker. The marker that when we start uh, decrease, I'm just gonna remove marker and so we're done. That's what it looks like. And for the color, I'm just gonna fold it in half. So now it looks like wrong side for the color, right? And then I'm gonna fold it in half. So the right side is out. Very beautiful. I hope you guys enjoy making this uh, project. If you do, don't forget to give me a thumb up. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye bye.